Alright guys, Mr. G here with more SnowRunner, and first of all, big thank you to Edgerunner Cold for telling me about this hidden mod um, that is in SnowRunner. What's going to be happening is there's going to be a new scout vehicle in the next update 8.0 in SnowRunner. It's going to come with a new map, but it's also going to come with a new scout vehicle for everyone that has the season pass, or you can just go on the Epic Store and buy it as a unique DLC. Use thank you to Next Hedge. He is a modder and he went in and found this in the game files and made this as a hidden mod. So if you're trying to find it on mods.io, it is not there right now, but this will be releasing in the full version of the game when they release update 8.0. Let's take a peek. Check this thing out. Oh my God. Just look at this thing. I mean, look at it. It is a six wheel rig. It looks like something built in the mid sixties, maybe early seventies. Look at this. Oh my God. This thing is absolutely amazing. And look at the stock tires this thing comes with. I love that the SnowRunner devs are just going bigger and crazier with everything that they're adding to the game. So I love it. So we're going to put a big gigantic engine in there. We'll get the SnowRunner gearbox in there. Suspension. This is the stock suspension. All right, what do we got for tires? So we got 44s, 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 44 off-roads, 44 mud tires, and 44 chains we're going to go ahead and put 44 muds on there because why not what do we got for winches on this we've got all your basic winches get the high power scout on there and what kind of frame options are you going to get with this thing oh we've got quite the gigantic roof rack um, but that bed looks just so gorgeous without this top heavy roof rack on. i just i can't bring myself to make it so top heavy when it's just such a beautiful rig we're going to go ahead and just go with trunk supplies on this one and snorkel option. We've got tall front facing or small round cap. I will go with the tall one. Why not? Okay. What other options do we have with this bad boy? So this is an official uh, in-game truck. It will be coming with the game. It's not a mod. I'm just running a mod right now so that we can try it out. We've got mud flaps for rear bumper. Please tell me they're going to have the one with the silhouette of the semi-nude trucker woman on the back because we, we, we all know that we need that. Uh, oh, stock ones. I got to go with the this one, the toe loops one. I'm liking that one. What are our rooftop options? Horn, horn, fog lights, which are functional in game. Oh, I think we got to go with these fog lights right here. And of course, very importantly, what do we got for front bumper? Angled, hunter, oh, that's a beefy one. Heavy duty pipe or stock. Oh, since I crashed into everything, we're going to go heavy duty. And what do we have for rim options? These are the only rim options we've got. What do we got for paints? I'm going to skip all of the base paints. Let's look at the vintage paints, which are always my favorites. I love that they've got purple and hot pink. I got to say the stock orange that it comes with is pretty awesome. But on the public test server, we now have options for things in the cab. We have bobblehead. Joker, Dutch Hound, Hawaii, Masha. Are you telling me I can get an air freshener in here? Because I need that. Definitely going to spend some money on an air freshener. For those of you that drive in first person, this will be great. What are we? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Light my fire. Your adventure. Apologetics. Off-road club. We got stuff in Cyrillic. I park where I want. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're absolutely doing that. Now let's go ahead and take this bad boy for a drive. So let's take a peek. Okay, we do have engageable all-wheel drive. Diff lock is always on. Okay, let's, let's see how this thing handles. I'm noticing a lot more spin on the front axle. At least it seems like that. At least it seems like that out the gate. It is really nicely balanced in that it does not feel top heavy at all. Now that might be different with the roof rack. Um, she makes some good speed on regular roads. Let's see how she handles in the water. Let's take a peek. All right, we're not doing amazing in the water. We are only running on 44s, but that's without all wheel drive. So let's kick the all wheel drive on. Okay, she's doing pretty good in water. Let's put her into low gear and see how she rock crawls. See if we can climb these rocks. How's she gonna do? Now this bumper 
is going to cause us some problems because it doesn't have as much clearance so we might want to switch to a different bumper later but with the max engine in here i gotta say the horsepower and the six wheels we have no problem rock crawling in this thing last thing we need to do is see how it handles in the mud i have a very good feeling that this is going to be my new favorite scout um well above the con marshall all right so we just plowed right into a log there let's pop it into low gear look at this thing this is some ridiculous mud like you're gonna see in russia in the taiga and we are just powering through this mud. And look at the just look at the body style and the detailing on this thing i mean this girl has got some nice nice curves all right, guys, I know I haven't been playing as much SnowRunner as I want to. I'm going to get back into doing more SnowRunner videos because I absolutely love this game. And I'm an elementary school teacher, and all this going back to remote learning and COVID has me stressed out, and I need to just do some driving and SnowRunner. So I look forward to checking out the new map that's going to drop in the next update, 8.0, and look forward to showing you guys new stuff. So make sure to like and subscribe for all the latest stuff on SnowRunner. And if you want to check out Edge Runner Cold, his channel is down in the description. As always, thanks a bunch. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Mr. G out.